everybody, Corbino here. Uh, whew, been a minute, I think it's been a couple months since I put anything up. But, you guys know at this point, yeah, you met my child in my last video. I have a child, and it, it's a struggle out here. You gotta work a lot, and, you know, obviously, at the end of the day, I wanna relax and hang out with my wife and kid, and my crazy animals. So, yes, 2020 wasn't the year of lots of videos like I had planned. Which I'm not quite sure why I did plan that. Because I knew I was having a kid. I don't know. I'm crazy is all I know. But, wow, I know why. Because at the start of the year, I thought I was getting a different job. But, ignore all that. We're here to unbox a mystery mail call from Comic Tom 101. I, whew, I first discovered Comic Tom through Variant. Like, Ares Quinones, I think I pronounced that close to right he popped up on his channel a year or so back and I was just like oh, he seems alright but I don't need any more YouTubers at the moment so I ignored it then he popped up again like I think maybe shortly before like COVID really started hitting the states and I checked it out I was like you know what this guy's got a lot of info so then I went and checked out his channel and I've fallen in love with his channel and I since then I've fallen in love with Jim Mint and all of his Jim Mint's channel and his entire crew and they have this mystery mailbox mailbox mail call it's a mystery box of comic books I think you get like four to seven each uh, month um, and they come in this black bag so it's a mystery um, I think like each month they have like five keys that go out randomly to five members of the community. Now, I'm not sure what the keys were for October. I could be mixing October and November, but I think like some of the keys that are supposed to be going out either with October or November or something were like first Luke Cage, first Black Panther. You know, don't quote me on that, but it was something like that. Like, there's some really good keys. So you get a chance at that. But. Either way, you just get, you know, you get some random comics, nothing too crazy. You get some indies, Marvel, DC, you get all sorts of stuff. And you also get, like, nice variant exclusive covers. Like, I'm pretty sure no matter what, you always get, like, some type of exclusive comic book cover to this mystery mailbox. Mailbox call. Um, like, I know for a fact November's box is going to have a really nice Green Ranger variant, which I kind of want, but also I don't love the Green Ranger that much, so I also don't. But it's like a Comic Tom and a variant, like, uh, collaboration exclusive. This month, I finally pulled the trigger and signed up for it because they had a ma Magic variant that looked really good, and I love Magic. I needed it. I believe... It's maybe an X of Swords cover or something. I don't know what the actual comic is, but I've been wanting it. So, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, I don't know anything about Dune. Don't even know what it is, but I know they're making a new one or something. And people are getting excited about it. And I believe this was a, a variant. I could be wrong. And, like, maybe... Or maybe this is the regular cover, but you had a chance at the Virgin cover or just this. Either way, we got Dune, House... A Traidus. It's number one, so I'll probably check this out just to see what Dune's all about. It's movies, right? I need to check those out, I believe. But, uh, yeah, so we got Dune right here. It's a nice cover. Not It doesn't excite me because I don't know what Dune is. Completely forgot that this was coming. This is the Dune thing I was talking about. Really awesome. Oh, okay, well, try not to look at that was actually really excited about this because this is a cool little print it's just uh what is it ice cream man they've been doing a lot of cool variant covers like dr seuss covers on their comics i don't know who does this but it looks like it's signed by them at the top and this is 359 out of 600 john son johnson i don't know either way but this is a dune print and then I'm still not looking, but here's a smaller version of it, and it has the info of what you get this month right here. This is kind of lame, you know, but I didn't expect anything crazy, but this is lame because it's X-Force number four. A comic I have in my pool box, so I have this comic. So I'll just sell it for a couple bucks or something. This is it's a pretty nice chew. It's issue 30. I could never really get into chew. I tried really hard, but it's not a bad cover. Not a bad cover. 
Uh, I got some Star Trek here. Don't know what I'll do with this because you know me. Not a Star Trek fan, but it's something. Got a New Mutants. Oh, there's what I'm here for. Got New Mutants number 53. He turned her into circuitry. Okay. Stop it, Doug. You'll kill her. Huh. It's just uh, old school uh, comics. They're funny. But yeah, here's that. I don't know. I'll skim through that. See. This. Is this another print? Oh, cool. We got 680 out of 2,300. Uh, looks like comic Thanos, MCU Thanos. I don't know. I guess it could be any Thanos' head in the back. And then, I don't know, some bearded Thanos. But it's a nice little print. That's nice. And then this is what I was here for. It's Exoswords creation number one. Part one of the Exoswords event. This is the whole reason I was here. This beautiful, beautiful cover. What? Tell me that's not beautiful and amazing. Fantastic. Um... I already forgot what the box cost is. I think it's like 33 something like that. Um, I don't know how much all these are worth, obviously. Cover prices, though. Let me do some quick math to see if we at least get cover prices. Obviously, some of these will go up. Some of these probably have already went down. But what do we got? We got... We'll just do this. 7 even plus... 75 cents plus 75 cents plus 3 plus four. Well, how much is Dune? Pull this out. And it's got the nice that is cool that they spring for the nice bags and boards that just stick automatically. Like they have the stick stickiness already built in and you don't have to you don't have to tape them down. Was that plus five? So at cover prices, and that's without these, because I don't, I don't know what these prints would go for. Let's say, let's toss in five dollars just to do it. Five dollars a print, because I mean, yeah. Cover prices and five dollars a print. It's twenty-five fifty. That's your worth here. But again, some things are worth a little more. Um, I don't even, I, I don't know who this artist is. I just know when I saw this, I really enjoyed it. I don't know, I'll have to, damn go, Davy go, I don't know. I'll definitely be looking more into their art and covers on the Key Collectors app, so go check that out. Free plug, guys. Um, yeah, uh, this I'm sure is already worth a little bit more. The prints, yeah, for sure. This Dune one, I've seen people getting very excited about this. Um, but I am also going to go just look on Key Collector to see if any of these are anything to get excited about. So really, yeah, cover price, you're not getting your money's worth. But, you know, take into account that these two over here are nice covers that people are already getting excited about. You're getting your worth. You're, you're getting it. Alright, what do we got? X-Force. Right, X-Force number four is not even on key collector so it must not be anything too key to and true number three is not even on here or number 30 is not but I mean I can still look up stuff on eBay and all that good stuff and I'm sure for the ones I don't want I can get a couple bucks back Star Trek I don't know where I would even start to look for this um well yeah Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy here. Oh, let's check out New Mutants real quick. Okay, yeah, none of these pop up on the Key Collector app. But, either way, this, I know I'm going to get rid of the Star Trek. Dune, I'm going to give it a read, check it out, see what Dune's about. If I don't like it, then yeah, I'll get rid of it. Magic, 100% keeping. X-Force, I'll get rid of. Print, definitely keeping. Chew, I honestly think I might keep just because I like the cover. But yeah, it's got some nice stuff. Dude, yo, comic fam, welcome to the October Mystery Mailbox. This month's exclusive prints are The Titan Thanos by Brian Silverbacks. That goes out to everybody. 
and Dr. Seuss Dune homage print by Nate Johnson. Less than 600 prints, so maybe not everyone gets the print? Huh. Low print exclusive Dune House of number one. Uh, Axe of Swords number one. Variant by Davy Go. By the Horns. Ashcan. Exclusive from Image Comics. 50 of a thousand. Am I supposed to get that? Because it doesn't say everybody, but it also doesn't say not everybody huh but either way I got some nice little stuff here I like it I like it um, as of right now just cuz money situations ain't the best I'm not signing up for another month right away but I will tell you this whenever I am able to I'm going to sign up for it like for a year in advance but as of right now I think I'm gonna sign up for it maybe every other month just because I love getting comics and if they're throwing in something like this, then they already got my vote. Um, and then, like I said, you get a chance at like some really big keys. Not expecting to win those, but, you know, that's always fun. Yeah, that's it. Let me know. Do you guys get the mystery mail call already? Have you wanted to? Have I helped you persuade you into getting one? I don't know if this really would, because obviously I wasn't interested in as many books as I had hoped. But, you know... Let me know what you guys think about this, and if you've gotten mystery mail calls before, let me know what your favorite book you've gotten from them was, or even your favorite print. But yeah, my favorite item from this is definitely the magic cover, and then this dune print, just because it's fun. But yeah, that's it for this video, and hopefully you see me again very soon. Till next time, stay geeky.